Hi and welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to be turning this pen blank here. I made my first pen blanks myself using epoxy resin. I used a slow setting casting resin, took 72 hours to cure these ones. Put some mica powders in there, mixed them up, hope for the best. Not sure what it's going to look like. I um, don't know if you can see that. Let's just focus you in on that uh, there. Can you see that there? Look? Now I've already put the tubes in for a Zeta. So this is going to be a Taylor's Murfield Zeta pen. Let's put it on the lathe and let's get turning. See what comes. Come over here. Let's mount it on the lathe. Bushings are on. Tail stock up. Lock the tail stock down. Crank that up a couple of times. Lock it down. Lock that down. Okay, let's crank the lathe up and let's get going. I'm not going to put the dust extractor on uh, whilst I'm recording, but I will put it on for when I sand, but not for when I'm turning. Okay, so we're getting closer down to the end there now. What I'm going to do is give my roughing gouge a quick sharpen. Okay, lovely, let's get sanding. So I'm gonna turn on the extraction now, sorry about that. We'll start with 180 grit. So that's 180 grit, let's move on to 240. Quick look at that, yeah. Now I want to sand along the length. Plus 240 grit, now we'll move on to 320 grit. Now 800. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, so we'll wet sand 1000 grit. Now we'll do 2000 grit. Now 3000 grit. Finally, 4,000 grit. Dry that off. That's looking quite good. Now we need to polish it. So we're going to start with the raw 610 extreme cut. Just apply that to a cloth. Now I know a lot of people will say that uh, it's not a safety cloth, um, but hey ho, it is what it is. 
I'm not wrapping it in my fingers, I'll just cut my hands around it so if it gets caught, it'll just pull it out of my hands. And it won't get caught unless I do something stupid. Dry a dry bit of cloth. Now we'll move on to the 3M Extra Fine Plus. Dry a bit of cloth, just give it a buff. And then finally, some anti hologram by 3M. cloth there. <laughs> Take it out of the lathe. Da, da, da. <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm so happy. This is the first blank I've made myself and I've just turned it beautifully. <laughs> Let's head over to the table and we'll put it together. Gonna put it together now. So let's put it together. Let's put this on, fix which way we're gonna use it. Which way do we wanna put it? I tend to put a bit of tissue around this body. Let's clamp it together, press it together. Take that tissue out now. It wouldn't have marked the body. Let's put this part in. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, what am I doing? Screw that in there. That's in there. Screw the nib on. On. And there we have it. <laughs> lucky, lucky, lucky. That's the first blank I've ever made myself. It's a Taylor Murfield um, Zeta, and I'm loving it. This is rhodium and gun metal. I think that looks quite nice on it. I'm liking that. I'm really liking that. Zoom in on it. Can we zoom in on it? You'd want to zoom in on my ugly head. Can you see that? Looky, looky, looky. So thanks for watching. That's the first pen blank I've ever made. Um, and I think it looks quite nice. I'll put some photos up at the end of the video so you can see it in more detail. Um, but I'm loving it. Really happy with that. That's using epoxy casting resin from notcut.co.uk. I don't get any discount from them, but notcut.co.uk, if you're watching, I'm recommending you. So please sponsor me. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye. See you next time.